Something you want to tell us, <laughs> Michel? No, so it didn't happen a lot, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm very ashamed about it. Come on, Nikki, Nikki make, my, make my life spicy. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Nikki? <laughs> Welcome to a new episode of uh, Peter and the Bot. Uh, in this episode, we talk about voice assistants. And we have a very special guest with us, uh, Michel de Koster. Michel, good welcome. E good evening. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, you are a businessman by day and a rock star by night. Uh, can you tell me something more about you? What do you do? I, uh, I have a, uh, a number of activities. I, uh, first of all, I'm a, I'm a coach. Half of my time I'm coaching um, individuals um, professionally. Um, and that's very, that's, it's a very interesting uh, activity because you... Um, it's different contexts, but it's always about the same topics, essentially. So that's that's one element. Then I work for um, the Coramic Group, where I uh, develop a digital portfolio for the um, for the contact center business, uh, because in my opinion, uh, digitalization also in the contact center world is uh, the key to uh, to get that sector uh, back on track. Um, and then uh, a number of other uh, activities like. Uh, uh, raden van bestuur and uh, councils, uh, stuff like that. So that's, okay. that's what I'm doing. That's I was told that you also wrote a book, People Peppers. Wha it's what's it about? Yeah, it's the second book. I wrote two books. Okay. And the People Peppers is the second one. The second one, uh, People Peppers, is about communication and the importance of um, adding value to the business by engaging with people and uh, to do that in an intelligent and in a very informal and in natural way, which is apparently a problem for many people. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, as you know, you're a, a guest on our show, Peter and the Bot. You will be interviewed by a bot. This is the first time that you're <laughs> interviewed by a voice assistant? Uh, yeah, uh, no. Okay. No. Done it in the past? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Super. Well, then, uh, then you're uh, already, uh, uh, let's say, a professional on that uh, on that area. So um, let me by start off by uh, introducing our uh, bot to you. Uh, our bot is named Nikki. So uh, mm -hmm. let's uh, uh, maybe start it off with uh, introducing you to Nikki. So, hey, Nikki. Good uh, good uh, evening. Um, we have uh, Michelle de Coster here with us. Uh, are you ready for the interview? Hello, Peter. Hello, Michelle. Yes. I am ready for the interview. So she's all ready, Michelle. Are you ready for the interview? Totally. Okay, super. So let maybe uh, let's us ask our Nikki what she knows about you. Might be interesting to know what uh, how your life in a digital world will uh, would look like. So, uh, Nikki, what what do you know about our guest? Michelle De Costa is a top manager who became famous in the ICT sector. Good summary for you. Very concise and very brief. I like that. Okay, super. So yeah. that's that's how you're known in the digital world. So as concise and brief. Yes, as concise <laughs> and brief. Absolutely. Okay. Um, maybe let's dive into it and see what what else she knows about you. Nikki, are there anything else you can find about Michel de Koster? Michel once dropped off his children at school in their pajamas. Something you want to <laughs> tell us, Michel? I don't want to disclose okay. any longer it's about this. Okay, so it's a veto. <laughs> yes. You have several vetoes you can use. No, uh, it didn't happen a lot, but it's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very ashamed about it. Don't worry, I had the, yeah. same, I had the same experience, uh, okay. so uh, okay. don't yeah. worry. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get far started with our first interview. We actually have three rounds. Okay. The first round is the professor round. That's the round where we discussed uh, the future, uh, let's say, uh, evolutions on, in this case, voice assistants. Okay. I want to have your opinion on that. Okay. The second round is what we call the speedy round. That's where you get five questions very uh, okay. rapidly and you need to answer yes or no. <laughs> okay. And then the third round, my favorite, is the spicy round. And we ask you some spicy questions. <laughs> so, okay. Let's okay. start off with the professor round. Yes. <laughs> So, Michel, we'll, uh, we'll do the professor round together uh, okay. and uh, let's uh, ask Nikki uh, to launch the first question to you. Nikki, what's the first question you have for Michel? Michel, what will be the most important evolution on voice assistants in the next year? Generically, artificial intelligence. Huh? I mean, okay. that's, um, we have to go more in detail. Uh, Specifically, but it's 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 everything that is is about machine learning and artificial intelligence pumped into these devices and into into assistants. 
okay. to better understand, you know, the, uh, to better support, to better understand, and and, and to add emotions and, and, and feelings. For that. To try uh, to match as much as possible uh, the human interaction. Okay. So, so you think that that artificial intelligence will become more and more a, a, a component of voice assistance? Absolutely. Okay. It will so be. It will probably even overtake the the, the mechanical aspect of it, and um, it will uh, it will combine uh, different technologies and capabilities, and that added with with a lot of data and a lot of uh, training of the machines will 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 make these personal assistants almost uh, almost human. Okay. The almost is important because I do uh, attach a lot of importance to the human element, and mm -hmm. I, I, I like a world where it's in balance between the two. It's a, it's an end world. It's not it's not it's not uh, it will not completely uh, overtake the um, the human interaction. Luckily, okay, uh, but it can help us. Uh, sorting out a lot of things that we waste a lot of time on and that are more formal stuff and, and, and uh, well, se sequential stuff that can be replaced and automatical stuff that can be replaced by, by assistance. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the good news. So we win time and time we probably use uh, intelligently to engage with people mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. because that's, that's the danger and the contradiction of a digitalization is that a lot of people hide behind screens and a lot hide behind applications and uh, and messenger and and these kind mm -hmm. of things. While uh, it, it, it it becomes a, a problem of alienation, mm -hmm. and that's something we need to avoid. So, so you're a big promoter of human interaction. Yes, that's, that's the summary. Combined with the. The, the intelligence of digitalization to take away all of the the burden stuff, all of the the non-interesting, non-adding -add value stuff. You know okay. the the, re the repeats, the voilà. and and that's I think the good news about it. Yeah. Okay. About Super. all this. Um, let's see what else uh, what else Nikki has for you in terms of questions. Because so we have we have three questions in total in terms of your your vision on that. So Nikki, what else do you want to know about uh, about Michelle's vision on the future? Michelle, can you describe a specific use case of a voice assistant that you've experienced yourself? That's an interesting one. Do you have something in mind, something that you experienced yourself in terms yes. of a voice assistant? Yes. Um, well, basically what I, what I experienced as, as one of the most you know, interesting things initially working with a voice assistant is that uh, as, as I become an independent advisor, uh, and being, of course, uh, educated in the corporate environment where, you know, there's somebody to do uh, everything for you. Uh, you just have to, you know, think about it and somebody's there to help you out mm -hmm. with it. And so you have an assistant and uh, sh it's kind of kind of a, a third arm that you have. Well, I was very pleased by getting, you know, digital assistant taking over again. Uh, that part that I lost by okay. working from corporate environment into a, a self-employed environment because you don't have an assistant and I was rather clumsy in, and I still am in, uh, in, in getting things fixed and done and uh, by using a personal assistant she, she, she why is it just she that, that <laughs> the, the assistant <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> took over uh, some of these uh, particularities and I was very pleased with that you know okay. taking up my phone when I was not available for example it's, it sounds stupid okay. but it's important because it's a service you give to the people that call you you cannot answer because you're in a coaching session and you can the person in front of you is the most important person at that point in time but the guy calling you or the lady calling you is also important. Well, having uh, an assistant taking up, up the call and uh, handling, for example, a meeting request is something very, okay. you know, it, it, it saves me a lot of time and it's a service I give to, uh, to the other side and they appreciate that mm -hmm. without having an assistant physical okay. anymore. So, so if I call you, it will be a voice assistant that picks up your phone? Yes, sir. Wow. You're uh, very evolved. So you're very evolved. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> I always thought you, 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 you told in the beginning as well that you, you're quite often in sales as well. Do you see different application fields of voice assistance for, for salespeople? Because, yes. okay, they also get a lot of phone calls, but what else did you well, see you that know, that's sales, evolving quite no. quickly? You know, sales, sales is about quantity and about emotions. You know, it's a two, uh, the two halves of the brain. And we all know that salespeople, commercial people, are not very good in documenting and you <laughs> know formal formal writing of, of what they do. And I think an important um, um, positive element about digital assistance is to take away the, the that burden from the sales community okay. because they. 
they forget about it, they don't have all the same intensity, the same knowledge about it, and it's always for them uh, complicated. And uh, you know, sales management and, and, and the management of the company requires you know, funnel analysis mm -hmm. and uh, all that kind of stuff. And so it's, it's always a battle, and I hope you know, to, get, uh, to get out with that battle covered by digital okay. assistants. And, and, and in terms of, of specifically a voice assistant, do you, do you see already application fields that are applied today? Meeting to, reports. To Meeting reports. Meeting, uh, okay, meet, meaning that they, they come out of a meeting and they they they, they talk to uh, they talk to their phone and eh, to an application okay. and that application you know uh, takes uh, take takes the information mm -hmm. and puts it in the right format in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a CRM system and okay. that's you know because it's and then we can make it even more intelligent by for example when the guy comes in the car and he's that he's that kind of sales that you know even with support doesn't do it but you know the system will remind him every five minutes and will close down his radio and say you know you, you still have to uh, dear uh, Peter you still mm -hmm. have to fill in your uh, activity okay. report can you please do it now yes, and it's the same system as we had before with evaluation reports from uh, from HR systems where the system you know Mm -hmm. put in every five minutes a mail yeah. and at the end you could not delete it and, <laughs> and then you finally did the evaluation report and it's yeah, the same okay. principle so some kind of a, a support uh, and, and saying to sales you need to do it it's yes so yes, yes. a little annoying guy on your yes. right, right yeah, shoulder yeah. saying you have to do it yes so, okay cool let's look at the the final question that nikki has for you in terms of uh, your vision on the future so nikki what, what's do you have a, a third and final question for michelle Mitchell, what would be your main advice for companies experimenting with bots? Okay. Good question. My main advice would be to <laughs> just start doing it. I see, as with many uh, new technologies, even though uh, people talk a lot about it and the evidence, the, the, the added value is evident, uh, I still see a lot of... Um, the temple phrase, you know, the, the, the fear of, of engaging. And mm -hmm. I think it's about, it's about trial and error. Now, technology is moving very fast, so we're not in the, um, uh, not in the early phases. You know, there are really uh, very good uh, working um, machine learning bot uh, capabilities today. So my advice would be to just try and, and start working with it because it's, okay. it's about getting acquainted with the technology, with the particularities, and it's not by talking about it, but it's by doing it. And mm -hmm. uh, that would be my main advice. I see okay. too much uh, uh, inertia. While everybody talks about it, you know, there's this kind of, you know, a fear of, of starting with it, and it's, it's about getting, getting really into the matter by doing it. And, and what's the reason behind the fear? Because we see that a lot in our business as well, is but let's maybe do it, not do it. Is it it's the fear of failing? Is it the fear of, of I don't know, uh, investing budget that, that's, that's wasted? Well, what's the main driver? You know, I, I often compare it. I'm not an early adopter too, because I always took a lot of time. And, and over the years, I've, I've learned to, to, to not do voice bot taking your yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. But that's initially, for innovator. example, <laughs> I drove around in my car for years with a, with a, with a, a paper map, with a paper book. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so it took me a long time to, to start working with, you know, with with uh, uh, with Google Maps or with uh, with Waze. As soon as I started with it, I could not imagine a world without it. Mm. And I said, you know, why the hell did I wait it so long? I don't know. Is it laziness? Is it? I don't know. And I don't care what it is. Uh, it's for many people. It's different. Every every person is different. But you know, you should embrace it and start to work with it, and then you know, find the and be critical also mm -hmm. with the supplier and say, you know, this is nice, but this this could be better because it's only by using it that you can train uh, the machine. You can work with your uh, suppliers to say, you know, this is this is going well, but this can be improved. That's how you create a new business. So it, that would be my advice and my request also to to just start uh, start using these applications, these bots, on a daily basis. Yes. To just fucking do it. That's, yes. that's the, the... Gewoon doen. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Great. Thanks for your vision. That was our, uh, our first round to Professor Round. I think you did a wonderful <laughs> job, Michelle. Great. Yeah, thank, uh, you. thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. <laughs> thank you, Nikki. Um, let's uh, go to the next round. That's our uh, round of speed. 
So their speed is very important. Um, and uh, let's maybe ask Nikki what's it about. Nikki, can you give Michelle some tips and tricks for the, for the round of speed? In the round of speed, you are the CEO of a well-known telecom company. Answer with speed a yes or no if you would invest in a specific technology. Okay. Interesting game. Yeah, so my, my dream to be a CEO of a renowned telecom company. Well, maybe you can true. fix it. You can ask <laughs> the viewers to vote on you oh, as the next CEO. It's, it's, thank you, Nikki, <laughs> for uh, you know bringing me in this virtual world of being the CEO of a telecom company. <laughs> So yeah. She takes the decisions. I have nothing to do with it. So, okay, okay. <laughs> so to sum up, you're a CEO of a uh, renowned telecom company and you will hear five technologies. Okay. And the only thing you have to say is yes or no. Yes is I will invest in it. No is okay. I won't invest in mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yep. So, Nikki, can you fire off uh, all of the technologies and let's try to see if Michelle keeps up yes or no. Robot process automation, big data analytics tool, artificial intelligence, chatbots, voice bots. It goes very fast. Yes. <laughs> all, <laughs> all of them. them. Of, all course. of them. Of course. So we had robot process automation, yes. voice bots, yeah. chatbots, yes. big data analysis of tools, course. and artificial intelligence. There's no debate. Okay. There's no debate. That's speedy, super. Yes. If you have to pick one of those for with which you would start, what would it be? That's a more tricky one uh, to start with. Um, yeah. You have limited budget. It's Q1. RPA. RPA. Yeah. Okay. Why? Because it's uh, because benefits are quick, easy. It's not expensive to implement. Uh, and it, sh it shows to the, to the users and to the s skeptical people immediately the benefits. Okay. But I would, I would use, I would add artificial intelligence okay. because RPA is more about, you know, taking, saying to a machine, take this and take this, while artificial intelligence is saying, take it, but first check whether the value in it is correct and whether the value makes sense. So artificial intelligence adds an intelligent layer to the RPA, and I, uh, I, I prefer that. Okay. RPA is very sequential, it's, very, it's about form, it's about structure, do this with this. Okay. And uh, AI is more like, do this with this, but if it doesn't make sense, don't do it. You know? okay. because, and, and that's how you train the machine. Okay. Yes. So interesting view. So if we have uh, CEOs viewing our uh, our show, it's a good tip. So uh, this is uh, your tip uh, to become uh, a renowned uh, CEO in the <laughs> telecom uh, in the telecom yeah. sector. So super. And then we're off to our final round. That's um, uh, our favorite round. These are the the five spicy questions. <laughs> So it's a good match with your book, People Pepper, Spicy. Yeah, spicy, so yeah. We, uh, let's say it's a match made in heaven. You have been thinking about this? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's maybe ask Nikki to give you some insights on the spicy round because it can get hot some, uh, somewhere. Yes. So Come on, Nikki, Nikki make, my, <laughs> make my life spicy. Yeah. Well, you, you can ask her yourself. Go ahead. Uh, Nikki? <laughs> Hello, hey, Nikki. <laughs> she doesn't like to be touched. I know, I know. She does the me, does the whole yeah, yeah, me too okay, thing, yeah, yeah. so don't touch the It's a, it's the a Nikki. general neuter uh, yeah. for, um, <laughs> for his spot. For his spot. So, Nikki, can you, can you uh, give Michelle some insights on the spicy round? This is my favorite round. I will be asking some spicy questions. You get one veto to skip a question. Okay. So, you will be asked five questions. And you have one veto. Okay. So it's one question I that don't you don't need to answer. <laughs> okay. So use it wisely, your veto, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because the last question could be <laughs> the one that you will. So let's kick it off. It's not a speedy round. It's a round where you just have to answer. So we'll go it question by question. Okay. So, Nikki, um, what's the first spicy question you have for Michelle? What do you prefer, a romantic weekend or a track day? A track day. A track day. Yes. No romantic weekend for you. Oh, I have so many romantic we okay. weekends with my wife. So a track day. Yeah, a okay. track day. So yes. Love your honesty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nikki, the second spicy question. What company do you prefer, Proximus or SAP? The preferred company, Proximus or SAP? Veto. Okay. <laughs> that's a veto. That's that's yeah. that's allowed. Um, Nikki, um, let's go to the third uh, question, the third spicy question. And Michel has three questions left and he has to answer them because he doesn't have any veto <laughs> left. 
What is the third spicy question, Nikki? Is your average day rate as a consultant higher or lower than 1,250 euros? Higher. Higher. Okay. That's uh, <laughs> almost, we like it, we like yes. it. Um, then the fourth one, we're getting closer to the end, the, the uber spiced question. So this is the fourth one. Nikki, let's uh, go for the fourth spicy question. <laughs> Who is your favorite child? You have to choose your favorite child. And you don't have any veto left. <laughs> I said use them wisely. <laughs> <laughs> they might Fuck not be you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Should we give him an Uber veto? What do we think? We'll give him an Uber yeah, veto. He, okay. he cannot. It's impossible. He it's cannot do that. It's yeah. she, she's an intelligent machine. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's go for the the final. One. Yes, yes. We'll, yes. we'll keep it clean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Nikki, the final spicy question for Michelle. What's the fastest you've ever driven on a public road? 280? 280 kilometers, kilometers an hour? Yes, in Germany. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's yeah. good. 280 in Germany. Super. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've come to our final question, our final round. I hope you enjoyed your uh, interview with Nikki. Uh, Great. With Great. Yeah. It's a, a new experience. A bit more emotion would be nice. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't laugh a lot. Mm. Um, so there's some work for. Um, well, we have, a, we have a cool voice command. She can tell a joke. Maybe end off with a joke. Yes, yeah. And, uh, Nikki, yeah, can you tell us a joke? Here we go. Why did the elf quit working for Father Christmas? It wanted to go on a journey of elf discovery. Okay, Some that's work to do! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bot humor. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it to oh that. Okay. Yeah. Michelle, thanks for being in the show. Welcome. Uh, you were a very uh, pleasant guest. Thank and, you. And uh, I hope to see you uh, next time. So, for our next edition, tune in for a new episode of uh, Peter and the Bot. Uh, and we will be announcing pretty soon who will be our uh, second, uh, let's say, uh, guest in our show. So, see you soon.